Hey. Hey guys. Hey guys. Screw Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. Uh, I'm Kevin. And I'm Aaron. And we're watching Ruby. We're back with Ruby Volume 5, Episode 1. <laughs> Last time we watched what? the trailers and it tickled our fancy a little bit. And guys, we're back with Ruby. This is the main this is the main volume. Yes. Now, we are watching these to be respectful of Rooster Teeth and their view count and all that stuff. We are watching these. Guys, you need to focus. This is, people don't like when you're not focused. I'm focused. Calvin's okay. Stuck. We're going to be watching these a week after they appear on YouTube. Yes. I realize that that means that it's kind of two weeks after a lot of people get to see them. I know a lot of people are watching it on Rooster Teeth's first. Yeah. I think is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And then it comes out on YouTube after yep. that. But just like we so do... they have like an early access too? <laughs> they do. That's but just great. like we do with other uh, big YouTubers who, whose stuff we react to, we are as respectful as possible to making sure that they're getting the views and all of that stuff and that we wait and be respectful and hold back until we react. But that means that we, it takes us a little bit to uh, watch these. So we are going to try to do some Q&A aspects of this, mm -hmm. even though you might have already, if you've seen this, might have already seen the next one. So we'll see what we can do about how we're going to do that. But we're going to have fun watching this because this is the first time we're watching Ruby live with everybody else. I'll bet maybe a week behind. So, okay? Yes. So last time on Ruby, what yeah, happened? You know, Arms and Crow got hurt and there's a scorpion man and there's yep. some crystal things in another place. Yep. And then Weiss was up north and she was fighting her own dad. Yep. And then she was leaving. Yep. And then Blake was back at home yep. and she was not fighting her dad. She loved yep. her dad, but she was fighting the other people who were Yeah, bad. and the Sneak Company is all shut down. Yep. Like they're trying to blow up all the crystals and stuff. There's also a, a cowboy bad guy with Salem, his right? Ospin's uh, yep. thing. Yeah. yeah, there's a little boy. What's his name? Oscar. Oscar. Oscar? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oscar and Ospin. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. We, we, we don't know what's, Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really know what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. We still have Ruby and these guys were fighting uh the the weird horseman. That's yeah. one thing. But they thing. defeated him. Yes, yeah. I think so. So we're about ready to get started and we're gonna do that by smacking Calvin's head. The city of Mistral. Ugh, it's about time! <laughs> Crow? Who was that? Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. It's around. Airships, yeah. destroyed settlements. Oh, wait, you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. Hey. He almost <laughs> died, he's still alive. So, how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I figured I'd take the kids on the scenic route. We're not so badass. Behind these doors. Don't walk towards the light. The people that say when they live under a rock. What? Fuck awesome. you. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I love that water. Oh, something. The frozen time. Vendors here are saying just food. about anything, whether they should or not. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, most of yeah. mountains. Every inch. To stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. And we are going up! Is that a, that's an elevator? That's cool. So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. Mm. What the? Distress. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over like Monsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcasts this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayday! Mayday! We're a small passenger flight and our hundreds is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Oh, man. The Grim hit at 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline! Get him off us! If anyone can hear us! Gotta save him! Hmm. We're going to help them, right? What? No. Yes. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She 
There's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. No, but she's good in a Sorry, fight. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. <coughs> Buy the ship. Oh, is she letting it happen? I mean, she doesn't have much choice. I guess. Is this, uh, Haven Academy? Yeah. No one's there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, ball fight. Wrong crow. Hello! There's no one there. Hello! Maybe try louder? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. No, this isn't right. Come on. Hmm. Wait for us! All the lights are on. That's just inefficient. Get ready. There could be trouble. Ah! Ah! <coughs> Come on, Crow. Oh no, he killed him with his bad luck. Uh, Professor Lionheart? <coughs> this is a lion. Crow! For crying out loud, nearly scared me half to death. He scared me, Lionheart. Why weren't Funny. you waiting for us at the entrance? Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume. <coughs> Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children already know. Mm -hmm. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> Unbelievable! Total garbage! <laughs> we can't, can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with this. this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scratch his Guys. Chest, Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. I mean, I was standing here, but all right, whatever. Garden. He's a family guard. Guarding the balcony? Yeah. You need the balcony's getting away! Chameleon. <clears throat> Chameleon. Please, I, I just need to talk. She's a redhead. No. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. It talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the Faunus here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. I like her tail like a chameleon. Mm -hmm. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Please, just leave the menagerie before it's too late. Going public tomorrow? You're going to have to make me. I know. Hmm. 
I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, and Lysian knights attacking citizens. And then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Mm -hmm. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen. Teachers from this very institution. And it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. James? And on top of everything, mm -hmm. we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. Things the are Spring bad. Maiden. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> the four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic and they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics what hmm. the relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden okay winter for the gift of creation summer for destruction fall for choice and spring for knowledge you get Spring that. is the problem. What happened to her? She was determined at first when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She ran, abandoned her training, everyone. That was over a decade ago. A decade There's no ago. telling where she could be now. Is it Salem? I, no. At least I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years, where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwin tribe. Raven. Oh. Yang's mom? That's right. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Hmm. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. Weeks? A few weeks? <clears throat> That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden, and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. And perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. 
and damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible. But Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched, and I'm not the fighter I used to be. Hmm. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter, and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this. And it needs to be perfect. You know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Perhaps you're right. But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Mm, revenge. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. You hit my books. I don't trust him. Something off. Mm. Ah, Leo. We have got to work on your improvisational skills. That's that the... Dad? That's the... Mm. So is it a W? Why is it a W? It should have been Schnee then. So, I thought it was the what do we do guy. now? Oh, the guy with the mustache, whatever. Who like, played by house. Chris Sabat. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So he's working with the Salem people? Probably not working with them. Probably a cowardly line. Probably. Why is it that weird W? Excuse me. Oscar. Oscar? from the trailer. Huh. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to tell you I'd like my cane back. <laughs> don't you fucking end. Keep going. Good to see you again, Oz. It's like a lightsaber. Yeah. I think I can ever explain why he's in a boy. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Or Yang. Aren't you a little young to be drinking? <laughs> She's so bad. Oh, she water. is. It's hot out. I love that oh. gauntlet she has. Yeah. Sure. She's got both of them on, but I like the zip up one. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress. And a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. Seriously. Not too bulky. Not too lean. You're... Just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. Uh, hey. Cody Locks reference. And your hair. Ooh. Red. Oh. oh. Tooth. Oh. Jeesh. Shit. It's fucking Toad from Max what Man. What the fuck? Is his semblance a slinky? <laughs> this Bounce one's ball. on the house. He's been driving me crazy. Hmm. Uh, you're good. 
Good baby. You're good. So, what brings you around cool. these parts? Thanks. And I'm uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Hmm. Thank Raven? you, Ben. Her mom. Yep. Yeah. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. Oh, that was cool. Hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? I heard you're looking for someone. Fucking <laughs> okay. Kevin Bacon. You can see him playing that. Oh, yeah. Who's knocking? Just open it. Is this heaven? Oscar? What? What? Knock, knock, knocking on heaven. Thank you. It's them. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It's Oscar pinned. Can I help you? Um. Yeah. Is there a ruby rose here? Why? Well, I found him. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's drunk. No, I'm not gonna believe him. Help. Oh. <laughs> like there's Aspen. What is going on out there? Can a girl read her comics in peace? Comics. <laughs> <sighs> Pearl, did you get drunk again? Maybe. You have silver eyes. Who are you? That's the first thing Oscar uh, and Oscar uh, said to her. Well, my name is Oscar Pine. Wait for it. Hmm. You probably know me as Professor Ospin. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh shit! Damn! Damn it! Go! Wait. Ooh, that's cool. This is one of the girls, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, I like that. <laughs> He's gonna learn to fight. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, that, yeah, dude, that, that guy. guy. I yeah, that I'd forgotten about him being there. <clears throat> yeah. He's Chris the Bot, man. Vegeta and Piccolo voice. Yep. Isn't Grove voiced by uh, who that is. Edward Elric? Yes. Oh. Ah, uh, cool. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh shit! Ooh! Oh, that guy. Yeah. I mean, is yeah. he tra is he training them? Pew pew pew! Boom boom! Ah! Oh. Mercury. Ruby! Oh! Oh holy shit! That oh, was shit, he's cool. big. That's Man, we gotta get these girls back together. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah! Look at that! What the fuck? Oh shit! Fuck Salem! Fucking Rita! Rita Pulse was here. Ah. Yay, Monty Owen. <clears throat> Oh, uh, that was cool. All right. Okay. I'm See, hyped. I'm that's that's gonna, why we wait. I'm assuming that's going to be the intro yeah. every episode now. Yeah, I like the song. I like the song. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just because we haven't watched Ruby in so long, because we were watching it like once a week, and we were like, we'd be like a song, and then a new one would be like, we don't like this. <laughs> and it's like, eh, it's not too bad. I didn't really love the fourth one. No. Too I think, much. I think like, the fourth one was probably... 
That was Lamont. My Martin. second yeah. favorite. But this one, I, I I really like this one. Yeah, it was good. I'm and pretty sure I'm pretty sure it is sung by one of the one of yeah. the main girls. I can't remember which one. Okay. I seem to remember somebody mentioning that. Sure. I'm definitely into the idea of getting these girls back together. I mean, we had a whole volume with them. Right? Yeah. 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 Like the, the, the closest they ever got to each other was was when they were uh, fighting and stuff mm-hmm. back at the competition, right? Yeah. And even then, they were on different teams and stuff. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I kind of like the dynamic of uh, Ruby with the other team, but I, I need the original team back. We got introduced to Leonardo Lionheart, mm-hmm. who is the headmaster at Mistral's Haven Academy. Mistral's Haven Academy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, kind of a cowardly lion kind of thing going on with that guy. Kind of uh, feels like you know, it. we do already have Scarecrow and <laughs> you know Ironwood, Ironwood, and all that stuff. Yeah, so. Ozpin. No, um, but it seems to me like he was improving. Is that what he said? Good improv skills. Yeah, we need to work on your yeah. improv skills. I can't remember the name of the the cowboy guy with the mustache, but I remember him. Is like Winston I, or something. Something Winchester. Like, maybe Winchester. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to assume. Wolfenheim. Yeah, fucking Whopper. What? <laughs> That's a bird. I was just thinking of food. I'm sorry. Um, but the main thing they were talking about is the absence of the spring maiden who yeah. went missing 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. I wonder how long Raven has had her. It's really not that long, right? Can't be that long. I mean, it could have been. Yeah, right? I guess. I mean, I don't know. it was when Ruby was young. Yeah. Whenever she I was left. trying to think 10 years ago, could we know who the spring maiden is at all? But I don't think so with that time frame. Unless it's one of the characters that were sitting around the table. Like, I thought it might have been Salem. Yeah. Just as a crazy sure. guess. I don't know what but Salem is. I don't, I don't know why she would be yeah. at the head of everything. And then... Yeah. She and doesn't then, look very springy. They also talked uh, about their... <laughs> maybe uh, she's corrupted. Yeah. The, the, the four artifacts. Sure. They have, like... The relics. The, yeah, the relics. Mm-hmm. There's one of, like, knowledge, of choice, of destruction, and the gift of creation. Yeah, and only a certain maiden can e- pick each up maiden each maiden has one yeah. that they can do. Now, have we already seen a relic? No. Okay. I'm trying... I, I really, really want to do a rewatch of this. I just haven't had time to do it yet, but I'm trying to remember all the stuff, because, you know, Ruby is an interesting series. It's a YouTube series, mm-hmm. and it, it does have, like, a lot of lore and dialogue, and, you know, they're in and out 15 minutes sometimes, yeah. you know? So they can't exactly, like, really bring home... Some of these ideas on a first watch. I feel like I got you know watched them a couple of times, and I think it's really made for that. With them coming out every week and they're free, mm-hmm. you can yeah. watch it over and over again. Try to pick it apart. Um, I just want to have more time to do that. So I'm excited to do that with you guys now as we're watching this. I I, I was confused. Maybe someone could help me out. James and Vale. They were talking about something there, and I was like, "Who's James? Is that? I must remember that." No. I don't know. It, yeah. it doesn't sound familiar to me. Yeah. What, what was Ospin's first name? Ospin. James. James from, did they say Vale? They said Vale, yeah. Yeah, right James, yeah, James and Vale. It wouldn't have yeah. been him then. No. Yeah. Just like you said, Calvin, the, the chameleon girl, what's her name? Whatever. The the, the moving hair tentacle she, thing. Yeah, she mentioned her name. Yeah. I, I didn't write it down. I wrote down about her hair. hair yeah. When Calvin said that, so I just you scratched, scratched, scratched it out. I wrote down yeah, to it. Yeah, right. I wrote down, I'm like, oh, I'm going to talk about that. Yeah. That'd be cool. And Calvin's like, I don't know about her hair. It's like a tail for a chameleon. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm excited to get to see more Raven and the relationship between Yang and her mom. That's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen any interaction with her and her mom yet. We have saw a little bit with... I mean, she saved her. Crow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, the train, but they right? didn't, like... Yeah. They didn't talk or anything. I wonder if... If she'll join with her mother or anything and be in a conflict with Ruby coming in to stop. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she'll be, like, an inside man. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I, loved her, I loved her scene, like, you know, with that guy. And stuff. Yeah. He bounced so great. much. She's like a bouncy ball. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, like, wait, is that just how strong she was? And he's bouncing ricocheted that much with momentum? Or I, was I it stylized? So, yeah. Or. I mean, it was anime stylized. Sure. But yeah, it was. Yeah. I want to know how you play with slinkies. Because you were like, what is he? Is this a semblance? Is this semblance a, uh, a slinky? Yeah. And I was like, Dude, you need to what check out. Slinkies? There's a guy that's like Slinky World Champion or some shit, and he did like some kind of fucking dance with a Slinky. And like the way he does it, it's like a rainbow one. The way he does it, he'll like, you know, do all this shit, and he's like hitting it with his feet and stuff, and it's like bouncing back and forth. But he does it in a way where the momentum makes it go like. It just looks so fucking cool and hypnotic and shit. You gotta check that shit out. Yeah. Hypnotic Slinky. Google that. You watch that shit and you rewatch Ruby. I know, right? I'm a poor, poor man. Wait, 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 wait. 
Crow and Raven are evenly matched. Yeah. That's an interesting thing to think of. Right? I, I, I did for some reason with her, like, teleport portal <laughs> thing, which I'm assuming is kind of her semblance. Right? Can she go do that all or, the time? Or maybe it's part like, of the summer magic. Yeah. Um, maybe she's a... Could she be a maiden? But no. well, I, I mean, we've talked about her being a maiden, a maiden before, be but... But I, I wasn't saying that she was. I was like, maybe, sure, maybe the maiden is helping her. Can a guy be a maiden? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe crow is a maiden. That's no. how you can turn into a bird. I don't no, think that's just a semblance. I don't think he can turn into a bird. Yeah, yeah. He can. There was somebody saying that because we, we didn't watch Ruby uh, Chibi or whatever it's called. That there is like a confirmation that he is turning into a bird in that series. <laughs> We better never watch it then. <laughs> I can, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's I chibi. don't know. Okay, well, that is all I have then for Ruby. I'm sure we don't have any Q&As right yeah. now because it's our first time doing this. And oh, yeah. We haven't had anything with that, but we'll have Q&As for probably the rest of this yeah, series that, that we do. That would be absolutely great because Q&As, not only are they cool to answer, try to answer questions, but they also point out a lot of really cool stuff that sometimes... Well, sometimes, like, yes. like in, uh, in Supergirl recently, they're like, hey, did you realize this guy was the voice of yeah. John Jones in Justice League? Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Sure. You know, so like sometimes that kind of stuff will help notif notice notify us of like, oh, well, this is a connection sure. we missed. Or I uh, I was making hot chocolate over there while you guys were watching the episode, and I noticed it. I thought you guys already knew. I was like, oh, that voice sounds yeah. really familiar. We're going to go uh, to Twitter, all right? You're going to go to Twitter. You're going to go to at BlindWaveProd. That is mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. Twitter mm -hmm. at thing. You can find that down in the description. And you're going to put... Hashtag Ruby Q and A. You can ask a question about the specific episode that you've just watched, and what that means is watch the episode. And if you have questions or you want us to address something, go there. It should work out in terms of time of when we watch it and that kind of stuff, so that we're not catching uh, any of them early. Uh, any of like, if you the next want, episode. you could put like EP two. Yeah. So oh, yeah. And then, like, put that right before your question. That way we know, oh, they're talking about episode two in this one. I mean, yeah, that would be really helpful. So, Ruby yeah, Q&A, and then in the question before you start it, like, what episode you're asking the question yeah. about. We'll start right. that in episode two of it, and then we'll just do it for the rest of the series. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And we usually try to do polls when it comes to these things, too. So, guys, what is going to be our first Ruby poll of this new volume? What's your favorite intro so far? Ooh, that's probably a good one. Ooh. This is volume five, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is Five. So we have five different ones. What is your favorite intro so far? <laughs> have we ever done that before? I don't know. Maybe a long sure. time ago. So maybe cool. like, maybe three. I think we did three. I don't know. This one really grabbed me. This one was, as watching it for the first time, I was I instantly kind of liked it, whereas yeah. the other ones took a while. But there's something I think about the second one. Is it the, the second, second one? one? Second one, I think, got slower. The second got one got slower. really slow. The first one was the one... It was like, this will be the day we're yeah. waiting for, this will be the yeah. day we open. I think that one might be the one of them got, that was, I know one of them was really slow, and I was like, man, I hate how it, like, yeah. takes it down, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like this one. This one just gets you into it. Okay, so I like the first one so far the best. No, I love this one, it's the second one, right? Oh no, maybe it wasn't midnight. Someone slowed it. Oh no, Full Metal Alchemist had a slower one. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. The second one is my favorite. The second one? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say uh, the second intro is my favorite. Dang it, the second one's really good. You can't pick it, I already picked it. I can't pick it? Yep. Pick a different one. I'm going number five then. Five! Damn it. Aaron? I'm gonna go with number four. I'm gonna say two. <laughs> really? <laughs> number four? <laughs> That was the last one that we listened to? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Know, what about did. the one... No, three. I'm good. Three. Three. What about, what about three. the one Shut where he's on a motorcycle? Oh, you're, you're doing that. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Right. That one? one Fuck the other ad. God. Fuck it. I'm going with one. You're going with one, one, one classic? Classic. Go very first one. Well, the mine is two, and that's the correct answer. If you want to use the correct answer, but make sure one, you pick or two, or two, three, or four, or five, or whatever one. you You can go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Find that poll in all the polls. We're going to try to do a poll for every episode of Ruby, but this one is going to be kind of like a, <coughs> a star uh, where we are at right now. And what do you like as your favorite intro music and stuff? So I'm going to say two. Five. One. Bye.
Make sure you guys are going to the description button. The description. The description. The description. If you want, if you, if you if you click that, then you can come back and watch every reaction we have to Ruby. And over there is where the poll is coming. Ruby. <laughs>